The Boeing TTBW, the future of passenger planes? The Boeing Transonic Truss Braced Wing, or TTBW airliner, is looking to rewrite the rulebook on how planes are designed. Originally conceived in 2010, the design is in its fourth phase of testing and evaluation. If all goes to plan, Boeing predicts we could see planes like this taking to the skies as soon as 2030 to 2035. Here's what you need to know about the TTBW. Boeing unveiled a groundbreaking new concept back in January last year. The Transonic Truss Braced Wing, or TTBW, airliner looks to rewrite the rulebooks on aircraft design and could give us all a glimpse into the future of flying. Working in collaboration with NASA, the Boeing concept plane features a lightweight, ultra-thin and more aerodynamic wing design, engineered to offer the best fuel efficiency in the skies. The TTBW concept is designed to fly up to Mach 0.8 a similar speed to current jetliners and faster than any previous truss-braced wing concept. From tip to tip, the wingspan of this concept plane comes in at 170 feet or 51 meters. While that's big, it's not as big as the wingspan of an A350 at 212.4 feet or 64.75 meters, or even the 787 Dreamliner with 197 feet or 60 meters. However, this is no wide-body aircraft, as it's seen as an evolution of the Boeing 737 class of planes. Compared to the 737 MAX 8, for example, the TTBW exceeds its wingspan by some 53 feet or 16 meters. And it's not just the size of the wingspan that makes all the difference here. The TTBW uses a modified wing sweep and an ultra-thin design, which reduces induced cruise drag of the high aspect ratio wing. As a result, the plane is expected to deliver a 9% fuel burn saving over conventional tube and wing jets when operating on flights of up to 3,500 nautical miles. To enable this huge narrow-body wingspan, Boeing is planning to employ a technology that we've seen proven on something a whole lot bigger. The folding wingtips of the 777X have become its trademark feature, but the TTBW takes this one step further. The wings would fold almost in half, with support provided by the truss rather than being reliant on the cantilever design used in aircraft today. While Boeing and Airbus often unveil concepts which in practice never make it off the ground, the researchers are confident this is a design modification that will eventually make it to the mainstream. Boeing has been working on a TTBW design since 2010 via the partnership known as the Boeing and NASA Subsonic Ultra Green Aircraft Research or SUGAR program and now sees airliners using this concept taking to the skies in 2030 to 2035. The current TTBW design is the fourth iteration of the concept, which has seen cruise speed rise from Mark 0.745 to Mark 0.8. It's also seen the wing sweep increased and various other aspects tweaked to improve the end result. Boeing's TTBW program manager Neil Harrison told ATW earlier in the year, the big carrot here is a dramatic increase in vehicle wing aspect ratio, which gives us a significant decrease in induced drag. We get efficiency from the strut braced configuration itself, including a significant decrease in wing bending movement, which in turn leads to the potential for simplified structural attachments, such as hinge joints for wing attachments. High speed testing has already been undertaken using scale models in the NASA Ames Unitary Plan Wind Tunnel. Lessons learned from this will inform the fifth phase of the project, which is expected to begin in the second quarter of 2020. Of course, with any groundbreaking redesign of the way we think of aircraft, there will be extensive certification challenges to overcome. Boeing noted that it'll need to consider issues such as tolerance to bird strikes, crashworthiness and icing effects, among others, in future evaluations of the concept. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.